the word defibrillator for today we we trust in god for a word from within the word extremely powerful this if we freely admit that we have sinned and confess our sins he is faithful and just and true to his own nature and promises that is such an incredible statement he is faithful and just faithful is doing the right thing over and over and over and over and that is what the father is going to do that's what the godhead is going to do irrespective of where they are emotionally they will always do the right thing and this is a continual guarantee but there is an if if we freely without any pushing without any encouragement without any guilt without any oh i'm scared i'm going to get caught if we freely admit that we have sinned and confess our sins he is faithful and just true to his own nature and promises and will forgive our sins dismiss our lawlessness and continuously cleanse us from all unrighteousness everything not in conformity to his will in purpose thought and action now just a footnote on this is verse 10 1 john 1 verse 10 this is the amplified if we say claim that we have not sinned we contradict his word and make him out to be false and a liar and his word is not in use the divine message of the gospel so that doesn't work and it means that the the message of the gospel is not in our hearts and this whole scripture says that if we mess up if you and i mess up what we need to do and it is an if if you admit before you get caught not because you get caught you know there's that time where you do it you do it and it escalates and you feel somebody's going to catch you it needs to be like that child if you see that child where they do something wrong and they see the parent coming and they go i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i didn't mean to do it that's freely admit that's repenting before and it's continuous doesn't matter how many times you and i mess up if we freely admit that we have sinned not be because we feel convicted not because it's just straight out of relationship because you don't want that relationship to be effective but you also know that as it says in verse 10 we all sin there's not a sin that befalls man that's not uncommon to man we've all been there we've all done that and sin is sin it's how's the sugar well if you take your hands and you hold them up as if you're going to hold something in them if i'm going to pour water something you hold them like that and picture i put one grain of sugar in your left hand and i put a whole bowl of sugar in your right hand what's in both hands well it's sugar the only thing that varies is the amount but it's still sugar in both hands and the amount does not matter so as it is with sin sin is sin whether it's a small amount or it's a lot one of the sins it says that anything that is not done in faith is sin oh my word how many times have i just father my faith how many times have i done things in fear where I've tried to make a plan on God's behalf because I feel he's taking just too long. Or I've messed up and I try and fix it. Responsibility is responsibility in any relationship, whether it's small or a lot. We can't say, oh, yeah, I'll sort my life out. I've only got just one grain of, of sugar. Look at that other person. No. You see, this is personal. It's between you and God. I want to tell you, if you freely admit that you have sinned and confess your sin he is faithful and just true to his own nature and promises and will forgive your sins he will dismiss your lawlessness and he will continually over and over as you freely admit cleanse you from all unrighteousness everything that is not in conformity to his will for your life his purpose for your life 
and anything that you think and every action that is not conforming, he will continuously cleanse you from that. Wow. And all you have to do is just start a relationship and say, oh, Father, I messed up again. And he hopes that you will do that because it's by your words that you get cleansed. It shouldn't be that he has to force you. It's out of relationship. I, I'm so sorry. I messed up. I really am. What an incredible relationship it is. Isn't it good to know the Lord? Lord, we thank you for your word. We thank you, Father, that your word is above your name. That, Father, irrespective of where you are emotionally, Father, your word still rings true. And I thank you, Father, for we have sinned and we freely admit to sinning. And we are saints who sin. And Father, I thank you that you will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. In Jesus' name. Amen.